subscribers and viewers of 365 basics today i come to you with a video concerning about what time uh, is the best to pray uh, the best time to pray and uh, sometimes the question may be how many times a day should i pray so today i want to share with you the tips which i believe they're going to help you to in your prayer life can learn to apply something which is uh, can be very important in your spiritual life. The best time to pray, the first time which is the best to pray, we know it's morning. Why it's morning? Because uh, it's when you are starting your day, uh, and uh, because it's when you are starting your day, and uh, it's when still your mind is fresh. Uh, a lot of things have not entered into your mind that. Sometimes that you're praying and seeing things happening around you. So morning is the best time. Actually, Jesus Christ himself prayed in the morning. According to the book of Mark, uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 35. Okay. So even Jesus Christ prayed in the morning and even apostle, uh, apostles prayed. And actually, even afternoon, uh, that was the custom of the Jews. You can say that that was a Christian way of praying. No, praying in the in the afternoon was a custom of the Jew. That's why we find even Cornelius himself, at, it was a sixth hour. Uh, if not ninth hour, it was just praying. Okay, that's why, he, uh, and that's the moment when he received the vision, when an angel was sent to him. So, the, in the Bible, we, might, we need to find which was the custom of the Jews, uh, or tradition of the Jews and the prayer, and which was, uh, and what do we need to do as Christians now? Because we are not Jews. And uh, sometimes, at some of the hours, was, uh, it was respective with the hour of uh, sacrifices. So the moment of sacrifices, the moment of making prayers. But now, our sacrifices, Jesus has been done. There's no time that, that we can say that this is the time for sacrifices. So maybe it's not three, maybe nine hours at night, maybe... Sometimes three at uh, three a.m., people are saying that this is a good time to pray because you are attacking the evil one. That is, that is religion. Okay, actually, religion becomes very hard to people, and people likes religion. Okay, but the best time to pray is when you are free to pray. The best time to pray is when you are you will need to pray. Is the best time to pray is when you don't feel to pray. Why do I say that? Uh, the reason, prayer is the communication between you and your father. After accepting Jesus Christ, you are being transformed from another kingdom to another kingdom. And that now you are becoming the son of God as Jesus, the son of God. But you become a son of God by adoption. So when you become the son of God, you talk to God directly. There's no need actually now of going to people. I need to pray. I need to pray every time. I need to pray. That you cannot pray. If you pray, you pray like pastors. Maybe person does not pray. And then every prayer is sent to the pastors, travels the pastors. That if a certain pastor pray, my prayer will be answered. Yes, some people have been give, uh, given the gift for certain big problems. And you should not entertain it. That I need only to pray when uh, I need somebody to pray for me. We, we have uh, direct access. Uh, to the master seat according to the book of every chapter 4 verse 16 we have direct access to the most holy place to the father himself we can talk to the father directly at any time okay so if you can if the father is before you and he looks at you there's no moment when jesus christ is busy that when you go to pray we tell you that I'm busy, so come at a certain time to pray for me, to pray, uh, to, to, to talk to me. No. Uh, so we need to understand the prayer in the big picture. That it's not the time that I need to set a specific time. And when I'm late at that moment, angels will, will leave and uh, because they will be offended because they came to talk to me and I was not present and they will leave. And when I come to pray, I will be alone. No, that's religious. As a region, religion is hard. 
Because what, what is happening now, people project themselves into God and think that as we do, if I come, we make an appointment and then you leave. Uh, and then you, uh, maybe we make an appointment for, you, for us to meet a certain moment. When you don't come, I, I just have to go. So we think that God is going to do the same thing because God is not a human being. Okay, so you must understand that God loves us. The loves us. His God is omniscient. Is uh, is omnipotent. He knows that I will be late. So he won't come and then be shocked that I've come. Where are you? I did not. I did not know that you you could be late. I don't think God can say such a thing to make God like a human being. That will be like. How can we worship a person who does not know what is going to happen? So what, what I can say is, uh, when we want to worship God, to, to pray to God, we need to know that God is our Father. For example, myself, I pray anytime. I just, actually, morning I have to talk to God because I wake up. It's a new day. I have to talk to Him because He's the Father. The first person to talk to is God, okay, before anybody. That's what we need to do, just talk to God. You talk to him, you just enjoy his presence, then you go on your duties. But during the day, anytime you talk to him, why? Because he is your father, and actually your father is not busy like our, 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 our earthly pa- parents that when I want to talk to my father, he's at work. I have to wait until when he's ready. Sometimes my, uh, my father may be, I, haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't, I don't have a earthly parents because he has passed away. But uh, I, I just imagine if you have uh, earthly parents, you have to wait at a certain moment. And sometimes he may be tired, confused, depressed. So you need to wait until a moment when he's free to talk to you, but not our evil father. It's not about that about Jesus Christ. He's just ready to talk to us at any moment. That's why I say it's better if I go and send the comforter. Because the comfort of the Holy Spirit gives us access to the all to Jesus Christ directly, and we can talk to Jesus Christ at any moment because He loves us so much. If you love a person, you give him a moment to talk to you. And actually, it's not about being busy. Jesus Christ is not busy to such an extent that He has to allege an appointment to talk to us. Because it's not like a human being who goes to the toilet and uh, is, he knows everything. Okay, if he knows everything, so we can talk to him anytime. So he can talk to me at the same time he's talking to somebody, at the same time he's talking to somebody, at the same time he's talking to somebody all over the world to different places, to different ages, different lengths and positions. So we need to know that if God is like that, why do I need to worry to set a time? Yes. Maybe it can help you, but I'm worried. Uh, the issue of setting a time. And uh, I just, I tried it and uh, it was just, it's sad actually to put a time. Then this moment I'm going to talk to God. Then you, it's just, but if you make it a rule that uh, he is my father. Maybe I'm washing dishes. I just, I'm going to talk to God. Maybe I'm doing the still work. I'm studying. I can talk to God. Maybe I'm studying. The question is very hard. I, I, cannot, I cannot solve it. Maybe the teacher is teaching it. Oh, the lecture. He's just giving uh, a lecture. And I don't understand. I can say, hey, Father, hey, this is hard for me. Please help me to understand. Let me, give me concentration. I'll be able to understand and memorize some, some of the things. And God is just is going to do it abruptly, instantly. Really, God has been doing things to me. And sometimes I, I speak like, like I'm not serious. But you find it God doing it instantly. And then you say, hey, this is big, girl, you know. That's why we need to treat God as a father. And treat Jesus Christ as our big brother. So if you, uh, you have the, the brother like Jesus Christ, who, is, who has been given authority in heaven and earth, that's something good. What? I cannot worry about anything about any time. I can talk to him about anything at any time. Maybe it's the middle of the night and we wake up of the night. Uh, you wake up. You can talk to God. Okay? You can talk to God. You can tell him your needs. You can tell him what you want. You can tell him your weakness. But there are some people that say, hey, you need to wake up at 
2 at 2 a.m. It's a good time to combat darkness here. Sure, you don't know how the darkness operates. The darkness operates all the time. And when you pray, you cannot combat it. Okay, yes, uh, you think you can, but yes, because you are praying, but at that moment you will. What about when you sleep? Because you want to pray the whole night, the whole days. And God is not just like, hey, because I prayed, I'm going to protect you at this moment. And then when you sleep, God is saying, hey, you have slept. For example, people have, uh, maybe, maybe I, I, I sleep, maybe I pray a little, then I sleep. Maybe I, I sleep without praying. That God will say, I'm not going to send you an angel today. By the way, you have an, a guardian angel all the time. So he won't leave you because you are sleeping without praying, you son of God. Hey, you are the son of God. You are his friend. So an angel will be there. Protection will be guaranteed. Surely I tell you. That's the love of God. You know, we try to take God to make him like a human being, how he acts. That's different. We have to see things in a clear picture. We have to see things with the mind. That's why God gave us brain saying, Hey, reason. My, my people are perishing because of the lack of the knowledge. So we need to understand that. We need to, to know that we have the loving Father. The best moment to pray is all the time. So I say, every time I close my eyes, no, who told you it's not written in the Bible? So you can pray walking, you can pray in your heart, and God hears your heart like you're speaking audibly. Because God, does God need ears like this one to listen to you? No. Like, he has ears, so when you speak, when you, you, you speak in your heart, you he say, what do you say? I don't hear, please, lies up. No, God listens from inside. His connection to us is, is I don't say, it's, it's just like a wireless connection. That's like a copy of us. is in himself, that we are in him. So when we speak, you are, we, are in the, we are in Jesus. So if you are in Jesus, when you speak, when you think, when you pray something in your mind, it's just t because you are, Jesus is in you and you are in him. So when you, you pray in your heart, it goes there. That's, that's something good, okay, friend. We need to rejoice in the Lord. We need to rejoice because we are the best friend, Jesus Christ, who gives us access to the Father through his blood. We are not going there because we are good, because we are perfect, because we need Jesus Christ. May God bless you as you put your time, as you put your priorities, that from today I'm going to start to pray. Uh, I'm going to start praying all the time, talking to the Father, talking to Jesus Christ as my friend, no restrictions, and talk to him several hours, whenever I am, even if I'm in my bathroom, I will talk to him. Some people say, hey, this is disrespect. Okay, we shall, we shall discuss it later. But you, it depends on how you view God, how you put God. If you put God as some of the judge, you want perfection and this one, Okay, that's you. And if it works for you, okay, go with it. I cannot judge you. I cannot say you are not a Christian. No, it's just your choice. We have everyone as a choice. So I give you my, my view. You have the freedom of choosing doing what I speak or not. If you see that, you can try it. Just try it. You won't die. Try it. Take it. Viewing God as a friend, as a father, and Try it, and then you shall see the sweetness, and you shall see things happening wonderfully. And you, you won't even, you won't even speak. Some of the things I just, you cannot even tell people, because they want to believe. Because God, what is doing, what He will do in your life after giving Him an access to become as a father, loving father, caring to a child, to His son not with those restrictions that we put which are religious. My friend, try it. May God bless you. Amen.